Hello Jelly Babes, welcome back to another video. So I have uh, been reached out to buy all that sparkles glitter to review some of their products, which I was really excited about because you know how much I love glitter in all its forms. So um, I'm really pleased to sort of review this company as I've not used any of their products before. And I've um, got a few things really. I've got their jewel ended brush. Obviously I've got six pots of glitter and their matte um, top coat. This is their new labeling by the way um, that's been sent with these bottles. So you've got obviously their logo and then the name of the glitter on top of the bottle also. So this is their matte top coat. It's a nice consistency. It's not too thick or too thin and you get a 12 mil bottle. And there's no nasty smells or anything when you open it. So this is the dual ended brush. So this end where it's a bit more bushier is for dusting and dabbing the glitter on. It's going to be particularly good if you've got chunkier glitter. And then this end is to apply and you can burnish it in the glitter into the nail also with this end. So a real handy brush. And the bristles all feel really nice as well. So the first colour that I am going to be reviewing is this Alexa and it's a gorgeous lilac holographic. So if you open it up, there is no sort of plug in these bottles, you know, that you get with some to avoid sort of over spillage of glitter. I uh, just thought I'd let you, that, let you know that in case that was something you'd want to know. So I'm going to be using actually a grey base for this um, glitter. Just to kind of see how it would look and you can use these glitters with normal uh, polish as well if you've got a transfer for your glue you'd apply your polish as normal then i applied the glue over the top and allow it to dry and it goes completely clear when dry as you can see here if you haven't got any gel polish or don't use gel so i am going to be using obviously the more flatter end of the brush to apply this it's going to press it into the glitter a few times and you can see how well it has picked up that glitter into the brush it's a real good quality brush I do find obviously if you get these cheaper brushes it doesn't hold the glitter as well so I'm just sort of lightly dabbing and like pressing down with the glitter as I go and that is such a beautiful color I don't think I've got one like this so that's really exciting and um, it's super pretty and sparkly. Bearing in mind this is this hasn't even had a top coat on yet and just look at that rainbow of colour. It is very, very pretty. So let me know in the comments box below if this is a glitter that you like. Definitely get a thumbs up from me, your jolly mama. <laughs> So I just thought I'd share this tip with you, especially when working with glitter. If you don't want to have glitter in your favourite top coat, then I always put like a gel base, top, base coat on first um, to sort of cure the glitter in. And obviously I'm not too bothered if I get glitter in my base coat because generally you're going to be applying a colour over that anyway. Um, so maybe that's a tip that can help you. So go ahead and cure that. Then you want to go ahead and get your favourite top coat. I'm using this Kiki London one because it is got a real high gloss shine on it, which has got what you're going to want with a glitter like this. And this is all my nails done and I am so in love with this glitter. It looks absolutely stunning. Like I say, I love the fact that it's a bit of a lighter colour. I don't think I've got like a lavender version of it and it's super hollow as well. So I did add some stamping on this and actually that's the matte top coat on top of it which um, I do think you don't generally matte a hollow, I know, but it did look really nice together. Um, but I did want to show off the matte top coat also. So this one is Samantha and obviously it's a multi-mix um, of like fine and chunkier glitter. So this is the base colour that I'm applying it over. So I've applied two coats of this beforehand and I've applied the transfer foil glue. So this one is a very, very pretty and sparkly glitter. You do get more of a sparkle the sort of bigger the glitter particles are. So I'm just going to get some like gathered up into the brush now because like when there's when it's a mix of like fine glitter and chunkier glitter together the coverage can be a bit of an issue in that you obviously the finer glitter sticks to it quite quickly but then you kind of lose the chunkier glitter 
So if you would want more of a glitter impact, as in more of the wow of the sparkle, then um, I will show you how you can do that without having like a big bulky glitter nail in just a moment. So I've gone ahead and applied like a thin layer of the base coat and then I'm grabbing some of the chunkier glitter and just placing it on the nail and obviously moving it around so it's not all lying on top of each other. So that way you can get more of a glitter impact, but like I say, without it being really thick and bulky. So this is the nails when it's all finished and it is so gorgeous. It's like a glitter ball and um, it's a really pretty glitter the and i have matted the index and the middle finger sorry the ring finger and the middle finger <laughs> so this one is an absolute beauty it is a proper summertime glitter with its bright color coral pinky tones to it but i mean just because it's autumn and winter here in the uk doesn't mean that you shouldn't branch out and get this one you know maybe you're fortunate to be going on a winter holiday and you want that super bright money and this color will look absolutely gorgeous against your tanned skin also but i love the gold sort of um flex uh, the gold shimmer that comes through with this one So I'm just applying it like you can see here. I'm not putting loads of it on. A little does go a long way. And then I'm just sort of rubbing it in and burnishing it in. Just to make sure it's a nice even coverage. So hopefully the camera is showing how gorgeous this looks. I mean, how stunning would those nails look if you're on holiday, Jelly Babes? I mean, they even look lovely against my really pale complexion <laughs> my skin that is in desperate need of sun so i thought i'd do a summer as inspired mani as well and the matte really the matte top coat really brought out the gold in that which i didn't think that a matte top coat would do with glitter so that was something that i found out which i was really pleased with i loved how it looked with the matte top coat so don't you just want to, obviously from that <laughs> sticker, just dive into these bottles of glitter. They are absolutely stunning. They're really pretty. So if you place an order over £30, then you do get free UK postage. And you have to spend over £100 to get free international postage. Um, so I thought that might be some information that you're going to want to know. By the way, if you want to see, obviously, the designs that I've created, I will be putting swatches over on my Instagram and Twitter accounts. You can find me and follow me at Jellylicious on both of those. So I'd appreciate it if you come check me out on those. So this one is such a stunning glitter. You've got a gorgeous purple base with that absolutely, like, um, showering of the blue um, shimmer that comes through it. Again, you can really see it when you apply a matte top coat over the top. So this one, I don't know if you can see it on the bottle, but this one is called Hannah and it's like a multi-mix like chrome glitter. Very, very pretty. So you've got the purples and the blues and the greens going on with this glitter. It is a stunner. So if you want to know any more details, then, uh, you know, drop me a comment or your query in the comments box below and I will try my best to get back to it as soon as possible. Uh, I did put it on the screen at the top, the start of the video, I think. I do have a 10% discount code if you want to check out these glitters and it's gel U10. Um, so I'd really appreciate um, if you could use that code and check it out. I know that there are tons of codes out there, Jelly Babes, and I um, know it must be really difficult trying to remember everybody's codes. But like I say, I put it on screen. It is in the description box. So if you could just take a few moments to refresh your memory on that code, I'd really appreciate it because it highlights to the company that people are purchasing their products through my reviews. Um, so I really appreciate if you could support me in that way. So this is another breathtaking glitter. And again, look at all that different colours that come through when you apply the matte top coat. Absolutely stunning. And you could wear this one if you're going on holiday as well, even though it's a bit of a deeper, darker purple. So this next one is Georgia and it's another holographic. So this one is a bit more, it's a slightly 
bigger glitter sized particle than Alexa because Alexa is I think is ultra ultra fine whereas this is just ultra fine glitter and I have put it over my model one's um blueberry gel polish from their smoothie collection so I basically want to take the last few minutes that I've got rest of this video to do like a call to action that is like if you've not subscribed to my channel if this is the first time that you are checking me out I really would appreciate you pressing that free subscribe button um, and if you click the notifications bell also that will mean you'll get a notification whenever I upload and like I mentioned earlier if you could follow me on my Instagram and um, Twitter at Jellylicious and you know like my com like my posts and and um leave a comment i always appreciate that and obviously i'd appreciate you leaving a comment in this uh, video also so let me know if you've enjoyed this review and what you think about these glitters i absolutely love them i have loved swatching them for you guys so take care and i'll see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.